let's be honest, speed is an asset that every player would love to possess. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to run faster. There are many different approaches you can take to increasing your speed. No matter how slow you are today, I want you to know that you can and will become faster if you follow this advice. If you are a fast player, stay hungry and ambitious to increase your speed even more. To simplify the process, I've broken down four important keys to increasing your speed. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. Number one, change your attitude towards sprinting. Sprinting is something you want to do. Running is something you want to do. Fitness is something you want to do. Why? Because it's taking you closer to your goal. It's taking you closer to your goal of becoming faster, of becoming a better player, of achieving whatever dreams you have in this game. So you know that every sprint you take, it's making you faster. Every time you put in that hard work that other players don't want to do, it's making you faster. So number one, you have to change your attitude towards sprinting. This is something that you want to do every single day. Number two, continually practice the skill of sprinting. Sprinting is a skill. You look at shooting as a skill. You know that if you practice that skill enough, it will improve. Everyone wants to become faster, but very few people are actually practicing the skill of running fast. So you need to look at this new technique that you want to improve as a skill. And if you practice it every single day, you approach it like you would any other skill, you will improve. So I recommend that you practice your sprinting at least a couple times a week, if not every day. You don't have to do hundreds of sprints, but you have to be consistent and you have to look at it as a technique. Don't just assume you're slow genetically so you can't run faster. If you focus on it like a skill, you analyze it like a skill, you can and will improve the skill of sprinting. Number three, focus on the improvement of sprint mechanics. Everyone can get faster if they improve the efficiency of their movement. What I recommend you do is go onto YouTube and watch Olympic sprinters. Watch slow motion of Olympic sprinters, breakdown of sprint mechanics. You want to look at the fastest guys in the world. How are they running fast? What are they doing? It's not just genetics. They are moving in a specific way that is allowing them to move faster than the average athlete. So a couple things that I think about personally. Number one is that knee drive. You want to drive your knees forward, not straight up, but forward, up and forward, propelling you across the field. Next, I think about the power and the efficiency of my arm movement. So I'm not only running with my legs, I'm running with powerful arms. You want to think about straight lines. So your back should not be hunched over in a curve. It should be a straight line. Your toes should be pointed straight forward, not outwards. You also want to think about having strong tension in your feet. So when your foot hits the ground, if your foot is weak, you're not going to be able to produce energy to produce power and acceleration. You want to have a strong foot with flex toes pushing, propelling the ground behind you to force yourself forward. So you need to do your own research and find your own sprint mechanic cues that you can think about when you're practicing sprinting. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the Online Soccer Academy. Number four, train like a footballer. So yes, you want to work on your basic sprint speeds. You need the foundation, but you are not a track and field athlete. You are a footballer. You are a soccer player, and you need to be able to sprint in different ways, focusing on your change of direction, focusing on sprinting off a turn, off a jog, off a jump, off falling down and getting up off the ground. So you want to practice different sprint drills that are going to replicate scenarios that actually happen in a game and challenge you to improve your speed and quickness in different ways. These 
are several different sprint variations that you can use. These are just very basic, but you want to think about practicing sprinting in different ways that is actually going to help you run faster in game situations. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to take a screenshot of this image. I want you to take a picture of this text because I want you to refer to this every day. I want you to have an obsession with speed. Speed is your new obsession. If you are not getting faster every day, you are getting slower. So there's obviously tons of things you can do. You can work on your power, your strength in the gym, and that is going to help you as well. But if you're just getting started out, this is really the key to your progression. So review this information and get out to the field. Practice these things. I put those sprint drills, those different variations out for you. And as I said in these, you're just doing about four reps. You're really focusing on being efficient with your time, trying to go as fast as you can and not burning yourself out because I would like you to do this at least three times a week, maybe every single day if you can. You have to listen to your body, how is your body responding, but it's better to do less and be more consistent, focusing on the quality of every single repetition, the speed and the progression of every repetition, rather than just trying to burn yourself out and doing hundreds of reps. So follow this advice, be consistent, realize that progression takes time. If you do not give up, you will see the progression. Push your speed each day. You need to go faster each day. You need to push yourself physically, but also mentally each day and believe that you can and will become faster. Regardless of what people have told you in the past, if you follow this advice, you can and will become faster. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the Online Soccer Academy.